basically open score is when each instrumental or voice part is on its own staff. This term is usually used when referring to vocal music that's in multiple parts, like what you might see if you've ever sung in a choir. The sopranos have their own line, the altos have their own, and so on. While these are harder for a single person to read, especially when a pianist is trying to play all the lines at once, it's the clearest way for individuals to see their own parts when playing as part of a large group. Here is an example of an open score by J.S. Bach. From top to bottom, the staves represent the soprano, alto, tenor, and bass voice parts. One unusual thing you might have noticed on the open score is the clef being used for the tenor part. What is that eight under the treble clef? And why are tenors, generally a lower voice compared to altos and sopranos, singing with a treble clef? Well, in most music written for tenor, the engravers use treble clef and then stick a little eight under it to show that what you'll hear is one octave below the notes that are written. In this way, the tenor voice is basically a transposing instrument, sounding an octave lower than written. So if middle C is what's written, you'll hear the C below it, the one you would normally write on the second space of the bass clef staff. So when you write an open score, make sure you include the little eight under the treble clef, or your poor tenors will think they have to sing very high. Ouch! And what a short score. In contrast to an open score, a short score is a reduction of a work for many instruments to just a few staves, so multiple parts are on one staff. For example, rather than composing directly into a fuller open score, many composers work out some type of short score while they are composing and later expand it to form the complete orchestration. An opera, for instance, may be written first in a short score, then in full score and then again reduced to a vocal score for rehearsals. In choral music, like the type we're going to look at in this lesson, a short score usually has the sopranos and altos sharing the top staff, and then the tenors and basses share the bottom staff. The voices are differentiated using stem direction on the notes. The sopranos and tenors will have stems going up and the altos and basses will have their stems going down. On your exam, You'll have to convert short scores to open scores and vice versa, so this will require some careful reading and transcribing. Let's practice now.